The Defense Logistics Agency is known as America's Combat Logistics Support Agency and its support of the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, federal agencies, and partner nation armed forces is far-reaching. DLA provides its customers with the full spectrum of logistics, acquisition, and technical services, and provides nearly all of the consumable items its customers need to operate. A key part of DLA is its 24 distribution centers located worldwide. DLA Distribution is the leading provider of global distribution support to America's military, including receiving, storing, and issuing supplies. DLA Distribution's vendor shipping requirements allow for DLA Distribution employees to quickly process receipts and make materiel available faster to customers. Materiel received, stored, and issued within the DLA Distribution Center require proper care to ensure the items remain in a ready-for-issue condition. Military Standard 129 define the marking and labeling requirements for materiel entering the DOD supply system. These requirements allow distribution employees to quickly and effectively process receipts and store materiel. Following Military Standard 129 will ensure materiel is in a ready-to-issue state when received. Every company or business operates under some kind of corporate instructions. DOD is no different and also has policies that must be followed. These policies are in the form of instructions and are implemented by the military services and other components of the government. The regulations that outline government required packaging and marking requirements are Department of Defense Standard Practice for Military Packaging Military Standard Transaction Reporting and Accountability Procedures Military Standard Requisitioning and Issue Procedures Military Marking for Shipment and Storage The vendor is contractually responsible for proper Triple P and M. What is Triple P and M? Preservation protects the materiel against corrosion, deterioration, and physical damage during shipment, handling, and storage. Packaging protects materiel from deterioration, damage, or both. It includes cleaning, drying, preserving, packing, marking, and unitizing. Packing is the assembly of items into unit packs and intermediate or exterior containers with the necessary blocking, bracing, cushioning, weatherproofing, reinforcement, and marking. Marking is the application of numbers, letters, labels, tags, symbols, or colors to provide identification and expedite handling during shipment and storage. No matter how well an item is made or packed, it has no value if it cannot be identified at its destination. When materiel is not packed or marked, it will be remediated or suspended at the vendor's cost, delaying payment. All shipments should be marked and labeled in a manner suitable for the mode of shipment selected. Unless specifically in the contract or solicitation, these are the minimum label requirements for all DOD and contractor or vendor originated shipments. Each palletized unit and unpacked unit must bear the address of the intended receiving activity. Labels should be used in preference to tags, except when it is impractical to apply a label. Hazardous items must be marked with identification markings per regulations identified in the contract. Per the standard, the exact location of the identification text markings may vary slightly. The marking shall be applied to the upper left two-thirds of the side of the container or palletized unit load having the greatest overall usable marking surface. Materiel should arrive with one or more of the following documents. Supply discrepancy is a general term used to describe any variation in goods received from data shown on any authorized shipping document that is not the result of a transportation discrepancy or product quality deficiency. The DOD components shall use the SDR to report shipping or packaging discrepancies attributable to the responsibility of the shipper, including contractors, manufacturers, or vendors, and to provide appropriate responses. 
Some of the more common receipt discrepancies include the following. If a shipment has discrepancies that cannot be resolved, the materiel will be suspended in a not ready for issue state, pending disposition instructions. And a supply discrepancy report will be submitted. If your materiel is not in an issuable state, it will be suspended and payment will be held until the discrepancy is resolved. Our customers rely on DLA and its vendors to supply them with the critical items they need to accomplish their mission. Following proper procedures will ensure there is no delay at time of issue. It is critical that materiel is correctly packed, marked, and shipped. The goal is always for our customer to receive the right item on time, properly packaged.